Welcome to our final presentation video in which we'll be outlining our experiences in CE400 and our design project for a site in Gatlinburg, Tennessee that will house a 250 person hotel. Our engineering group that we have comprised contains from left to right Dakota Gentry, Robbie Windham, Taylor Mulligan, Richard Guo, Bruce Bowles, and Danielle Ertzbrung. We are advised by Matt Sprinkle from CEC in Knoxville, Tennessee. Our group has been tasked to design a site development plan for a new hotel that will be built in the city of Gallenberg for Westgate Resorts, who is represented by James Tomachek of CEC. The hotel will be located on Dudley Creek Road on a ridgeline overlooking US 441. The hotel will be 250 rooms as mentioned and the amenities including a pool and a parking lot will also be considered in the site development design. For our project we need to design the site layout for the resort, parking and amenities. The site required grading and drainage design for the cut performed on the ridge in which the resort is going to be built. Additionally, the design called for utility designs including water, wastewater, and stormwater. Parking layout for the primary and secondary parking lots was included in the design. Lastly, the project required the erosion and sediment control plans and a detailed site preparation cost estimation. The main outcomes that the client will be receiving from us is a detailed design document comprising all of our detailed work, calculations, drawings, etc for this project. We designed this project to meet both national and local standards. Additionally, our site development is considerate of the environment in the area due to the proximity of the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. My name is Robbie Windham and I was responsible for the site grading on the Gatlinburg Hotel site development project. And on this slide you can see the layout of the site after all the grading and cut and fill has been completed. It's going to be cut down to an elevation of about 1670 feet. And then the slope around the site is going to be graded at a 2 to 1 ratio. And uh, we actually ran into a challenge with this because there was already an existing road that ran through the site that we didn't want to have to repave. So we had to come up with a solution. To avoid that, and I came up with a ready rock retaining wall that goes around the top and right portion of the upper level of the site. And uh, here's the dimensions of the retaining wall. I use the ready rock software, and it is going to be 10 feet high, have a 12 inch thick leveling pad, and it's going to be around 747 feet long in order to make sure that the slope doesn't go into the road. Thank you. A positive experience that I had during this project was gaining more knowledge and insight on how all of the different concentrations within civil engineering work together to create a multiple, dis multiple disciplinary project. And we used and grew our engineering skill set during this time. We'd like to extend a thank you to Matt Sprinkle, James Tomachek, Dr. Jennifer Rutherford, and Dr. John Swartz, and all of those who have helped us along the way.